We're now going to look at this same power function from a different perspective. So we have a slight concern. We have said in the mathematical definition that x must be non-zero. But if you look at our C code, nothing stops someone from calling this power function with x equal to zero. Uh, so this is actually an example of a more general problem where, you know, from a mathematical perspective, we may want to define a function on only a very, very narrow set of inputs. But when we try and translate that function into C, we have to specify our arguments of the type double or int and so on. And this may allow uh, additional uh, arguments which the mathematical definition actually forbids. So what do we do if our function is called on inputs for which it is not mathematically defined. It turns out we can do several things uh, and we will just take a look at three possible solutions. So the simplest solution and in some sense the weakest solution is just to put a note next to the function saying look please don't call this function with these uh, illegal values. So for example for our power function if we don't want someone to call it with x uh, being zero we can put what is called a comment and here is how we write a comment. Uh, any single line that starts with slash slash is ignored by the compiler and it's treated like a comment from one human being to another and this comment just simply says that x must be non-zero. Now of course this is weak in the sense that just because I have put a comment that's not actually going to stop anyone from uh, calling this function with x equal to zero. So uh, the strongest thing perhaps I could do is uh, check if the input is illegal and if the input is illegal uh, this function could decide to kill the whole program. Now this might be very drastic but sometimes it's the uh, correct thing to do so let me just show you how to do it. So let's say we want to write this power function where we want to check that uh, x is not zero. So we can write the test like this that if x is zero so x double equal to 0, 0.0 then kill the program. Now to kill the program we can't just simply return a value because remember this power function regularly returns a, a double value. So if we want to kill the program <clears throat> we need to do something much more drastic and that drastic statement is called exit. Now if you remember uh, some time ago we said that the main function returns a value to the operating system and if the program uh, ha does something abnormal it returns a non-zero value. So the argument that we are using here to the exit function is that non-zero value. We're indicating to the operating system that something terrible has happened and we are returning with the error code 1. Now some style guides suggest that you shouldn't use this constant one because uh, if you include the appropriate header file there is a built-in constant called exit failure and that uh, is perhaps better. But for this simple introduction to C we're going to stick with exit one in case we ever need to uh, quit the function abnormally. Now uh, the exit statement uh, exits as I said not just this function but the whole program. So if this condition was true, we would do this drastic step. So if the code doesn't go inside the if, uh, meaning uh, we are coming to the next statement, then we know for sure that x is not zero, and then we can proceed with the mathematical definition. So I hope this gives you a sense of how to write such code. Now I'm also going to take this opportunity to introduce to you another style of writing comments uh, which is useful if we have to write a sentence that is longer and you know we need many many lines to write it. So it turns out that uh, we can write this using this format so slash star that starts the comment and then star slash ends the comment and the, the, the end could be on a different line and so we can write uh, comments that span multiple lines. Now here I'm trying to actually show a slightly more sophisticated restriction. We had earlier said that uh, we don't want to call the power function when x is 0. Well, we can call the power function with x equal to 0 as long as n is 
positive because you know zero to the power a positive number is zero so our worry is really that if n is less than or equal to zero then x must be non-zero now how do we translate this into an appropriate if condition and it turns out this is uh, not so easy to do and if you ever take a, a, a course in uh, uh, computing or a whole uh, uh, degree program in computing, you will probably take a whole semester long course in grappling with these kinds of uh, mathematical expressions. So obviously we cannot uh, discuss all the details here. I will just show you the correct way of translating this comment into an if condition uh, that is appropriate here. So here we say that if n is less than or equal to zero, and then this bad thing happens that x is zero, then we want to exit. And the reason this makes sense is, well, if you think about what would it, be, what would it mean if this condition were not true? Well, this condition is the and of two things, either n, it says both n must be less than or equal to zero and x must be zero. So if this condition were not true, if we were able to uh, skip past this if condition, then one of these conditions must be false. And so that would mean that either n is not less than or equal to zero, meaning it's uh, greater than zero, or x is not zero. So it takes a little bit of time getting comfortable with this kind of uh, mathematics. Uh, so may maybe you may have to watch this part of the video a few times. In any case, this is sometimes very, very drastic, this exiting the whole program. So hopefully there is something in between. Now it turns out that in um, uh, more modern languages, uh, but not in C, uh, you can do something called throwing an exception uh, at this point, which is less drastic than uh, exiting the whole program. But unfortunately that option is not available in C. So in C we have to do something else. So we will see how we can do something a little bit more graceful, a little less drastic using uh, this idea of pointers, but that will take us a little bit of time to build up to. So for now we will pause this discussion uh, and then again come back to this power function with yet another interesting perspective.